While the current NBA showcases a spectacle of high-octane scoring, to truly understand the potency of a scoring duel, we need to time travel to 1978, the legendary battle between George Gervin and David Thompson. When we delve into the archives of basketball history to discuss the titans of scoring, the name George Gervin often goes underappreciated. A six foot seven guard, Gervin possessed a finesse in his play style that was poetic to watch. He was like a phantom, gliding past defenders, his path lit by intuition and an uncanny spatial awareness only to finish with his trademark finger roll. Gervin's scoring technique was not one of loud theatrics. It was a quiet, almost serene effectiveness that baffled defenses as they helplessly watched him claim his spots on the court time and time again. David Thompson, by contrast, was a force of nature in a six foot four frame, a guard who transformed the paint into his own personal stage for gravity-defying performances, he muscled his way through the lane, unfurling dunks that were as furious as they were elegant. Thompson commanded attention. Blink and you risked missing a spectacular putback dunk. His explosive athleticism, a rarity during his era, made him a mismatch nightmare, a problem that opponents had to face every night on the court. This was the stage on which the Gervin Thompson scoring battle played out. As the curtains rose on the 1978 NBA season, George Gervin and David Thompson were already known quantities, each coming off tremendous seasons the previous year. Thompson hit the ground running. The first game of the season saw him dominate with 36 points on 54% efficiency. The momentum carried him through the first 20 games during which he maintained an average of 26.8 points per game, while still shooting north of 50% from the field. From the very outset, he seemed to be on a mission. Every determined drive to the basket, every scored point a step towards his coveted goal. Meanwhile, George Gervin, the Iceman, also launched into the season with poise, the opening game against the Boston Celtics saw him post an incredible 39 points. He was just as potent through the first 20 games, averaging 26.5 points per game. The duel had been silently declared, with Thompson holding a minuscule 0.3 point edge over Gervin in the initial phase of the season. Amid the escalating battle for supremacy, both Gervin and Thompson took their rightful places on the 1978 All-Star team, a testament to their incredible talent and the spectacle they had created with their point-for-point -point rivalry. Each time one of them dazzled the crowd with a 30-plus point game, the other would soon respond, sometimes with an astounding 40-point spectacle that would reverberate through the league. No lead was safe no advantage lasting, and it became increasingly clear that the finish line for this race was moving closer to the season's grand finale. Gervin might have held a slight edge in the race, but they both understood the gravity of the situation. They knew that they'd have to deliver more than a regular performance. They would need a transcendental showcase, an outing for the ages to secure the elusive title. It's the final day of the season. Thompson was first to face his destiny in a showdown against the Pistons, a chronological quirk of the NBA schedule that might have gifted Gervin a slight advantage. Yet Thompson, true to his unselfish nature, expressed little interest in the individual accolade, but Thompson's teammates held a different vision. The entire objective of that particular game crystallized around one mission, get David as many points as he could. The game commenced, and Thompson exploded out of the starting blocks. He was a man aflame, touching the court with an astonishing 32 points and breaking a record set by the legendary Wilt Chamberlain in 1962. Thompson's hot hand didn't cool 
As the first half progressed, he further piled on the points, going seven for nine from the field and finishing the first half with an astounding 53 points. Thompson's fiery performance began to show signs of cooling, yet his scoring prowess remained undiminished, each successful shot merely adding another thrilling verse to an already epic tale. His final point would come from a free throw, a seemingly innocuous moment that nevertheless capped an evening that was anything but ordinary. As the echo of the final buzzer reverberated in the arena, the scoreboard illuminated an astonishing truth. David Thompson had amassed a staggering 73 points. This monumental achievement stood second only to Wilt Chamberlain's iconic 100-point game. Aware of the scoring outburst Thompson had unleashed just hours prior, the stakes were clear. He needed 59 points, a tally that would demand nothing short of his best performance yet. The blueprint was elementary. Feed Gervin the ball and let the magic unfold. Contrary to Thompson's explosive start, however, Gervin's initial performance was lackluster, missing his first six shots. For a fleeting moment, it seemed as though the coveted title might remain out of his reach. Doubt had seeped into the Iceman's mind, questioning whether he should continue to vie for the award amidst his shooting woes. Gervin shook off his rocky start. In mere minutes, he reversed the narrative, sparking to life as he began an offensive onslaught. He closed the first quarter with a notable 20 points, but it was his subsequent performance that left spectators in awe. With a stunning display of scoring prowess, he notched an astonishing 33 points in the second quarter alone. As he walked off the court for halftime, he bore the weight of 53 points on his shoulders. Just as with Thompson, fatigue began to creep in and the Iceman's pace started to slow. Yet with every point he scored, the realization of his proximity to Thompson's total became more palpable. The San Antonio coaching staff, with an eye on the upcoming playoffs, was ready to pull Gervin from the game. But the Iceman requested to remain in the fray a little longer to ensure he left no room for doubt as he quit, just in case there were any miscalculations. George Gervin, with 63 points marked under his name, sealing the 1978 scoring title by a hair's breadth, a mere 0.07 points. Though modern NBA history has brought us close to experiencing such nail-biting climaxes, none can truly rival the magnitude of this legendary duel between Gervin and Thompson.